that you all have a busy weekend. I do too. Relive, offline relive, uh, what's new, all of that. that. So um, I hope to get it done in about 30 to 45 minutes. So that morning, um, get some useful information, and then be on our way. So for those of you that don't know me, I've been with Relive now 16 years. I'm a registered dietitian. I was super skeptical and said no the first time. So don't give up on people that say no. I'm glad that my friend didn't give up on me, um, but I didn't see any reason to look at this company initially. As a dietitian, I wasn't seeing supplements really work, which we all know that's true. A lot of supplements don't work. And this was a network marketing company and I did not have a good opinion of that industry. I certainly have changed now and just proud to be in the industry. And, um, but I, but she called me back, you know, she called me again six months later. And I was at that point in full-blown menopause. I was miserable. I had three little kids and I had hot flashes all day and all night. So I wasn't sleeping and I had anxiety attacks, depression. I had more migraines than I'd ever had in my life. 
I um, also had knee pain. So I'd been a runner since I was in high school and my knees were hurting so much at that point that I had to stop running. And so, you know, I was 43 and I'd been running since I was 15. So you can imagine I missed that. It's how I relieve my stress, you know, just how I live life. I was a runner. So to not be able to do that was big for me. And anyway, so I, my friend called me again, this time I said, yes, because I was looking, you know, I'd worked in pharmaceuticals. I didn't want to go that route. I'd been trying some herbs. They really weren't working for me. So I was looking for a solution when she called me six months later and I was open. So anyway, I listened to what she had to say, but mostly the stories that people shared. And I know we have a lot of opportunities for you to hear stories in the positively charged group. And I think that's so valuable because that's the evidence as to what happens when you use Relive over time. But it took about four months to start to get my results. And I started to see my headaches go away. By six months, my depression was gone. My TMJ pain and my back spasm were gone. I couldn't believe that was related to nutrition. At a year, I didn't have any more hypoglycemia symptoms. And that's something that I'd always dealt with. At a year and a half, my migraines were gone. I've not had another one in 16 years. And um, my anxiety was not an issue anymore. I still had a few warm moments with the hot flash situation, but it was way better. And um, great sleep, great stamina. My knees hadn't changed. So I used a targeted solution in my shake. Four months later, was back to running. A couple months after that, back to distance running. And I've done a lot of half marathons over the years and just love to run still. I, I turned 60 this year and um, I feel great. I feel better at 60 than I did in my earlier years by far. So you bet I am not going to stop taking these products. And it was my results as well as helping a couple of friends that led me into the business. So when I first started Relive, I wasn't thinking about the business at all. But I love that we share everything that we have with people, whether it be the Cologris Foundation, this business, these products, you know, we just share with people as they're willing to hear what we have to offer and they can take what they want. And sometimes people's desires for something changes over time as mine did. So as I got results, I helped a couple of friends. I realized that this is really what I should be doing. When I went back to work, I was staying at home with my kids and I was going to go back to either being a dietitian or I was going to go back into pharmaceuticals. So I did neither of those. I chose to stay home and uh, share Relive and life was hectic. My son was autistic and getting him in school was quite a task, but that was right when I met Relive was when I was doing that with him. And he was really what I call my full-time job. So I couldn't do a lot of work with Relive, but I was helping people here and there. People wanted me to help their families. And my business just grew very organically over time. And in the last few years, I've taken it more seriously. He doesn't need me as much anymore. You know, I graduated from high school and he's more on his own. Um, and, and that's true with all my kids. And, you know, so this is something that I choose to do, love doing it, um, really am excited about this coming year and what is happening with Relive and in our industry, which we'll talk about today. So, so how's the industry changed? Well, everything has changed, right? Some things we're happy about, some things we're not happy about, but the reality is the world is a lot different now. Network marketing is no different. Direct sales is up. Um, direct sales has grown. It grew 14% in the year 2020 alone. And wellness in the, um, has increased 37% since 2012. So we're in direct sales and we're in wellness. We're in two industries that are growing by leaps and bounds. And a lot of the growth is happening online. So what I want to talk about today is both building our businesses and finding people to talk to online but also building our business and finding people to talk to offline. Some people choose one or the other. I'm in both. I'm moving more from offline to online, but that's a process as anybody that's done knows that. But we wanna talk about that, uh, how to find people. And then also when you do, how to get that customer started and how to get that distributor started. So I'm not gonna be using any slides today. I'm going to be going over to my Relive website and uh, looking at some things there. But let's talk a little bit about offline versus online. So I'm just going to share my experiences with you um, offline. I continue to meet with a networking group in person. 
we took a break for a while. We were on Zoom, but now we're back in person. A lot of my business has come from networking through that group. And I found that group by going to meetup.com online. And uh, if you've ever done that, it you know it looks at your interests. And um, this is a Christian group. And I thought, you know, I'm going to find some groups that I'm going to enjoy being around those people. So Christian groups, runner groups. Uh, I was in a knitting group for a while. It's really, I think, invaluable to find these groups of people in our lives that we have something in common with, we enjoy being with. And through that, the conversation of health and business is going to come up. So I love doing that still. I still have um, referrals that I'm getting. I think the more you're in Relive, the more people start referring people to you. So a lot of my business comes from referrals. The other night I was at the brewery locally and sitting right beside of me was a young woman that had come back into town to do a presentation at our college um, that evening. And she was in healthcare. So great person to strike up a conversation with. I was in the grocery store one day and I just commented on this young girl's cart. She had a lot of healthy foods. I said, wow, you know, you have a lot of healthy foods in your cart. Um, you know, that's so good. And she struck up a conversation with me only to find out that she had a pretty serious need in her life health wise. And she willingly handed me her phone number. So, you know, I think if we can just make it our job, I guess, to be open and listening as we're out to people and just being authentic about who we are and um, being interested in them and finding out more about them. And if the conversation goes the, this way to a health need or a financial need, then we can introduce Relive. Um, okay, so those are the, my experiences that I wanted to share offline. So like I said, a lot of my business is going more online through Facebook, um, Instagram, and that's new for me as of the time that Fit3 was introduced. So I wasn't a person that was doing any online marketing or any social media really until Fit3 came along. And as you guys know, with the Fit3 challenge, you have to be involved in Facebook. And so I share that with you because I had to make a decision if I wanted to do that challenge, which I did, uh, and really do it, I needed to be on Facebook. And so it was really that that prompted me to decide that I was going to do that. And I say that because it was really a decision. Um, it's different to put yourself out there and to show your lifestyle and your life and share we live and uh, be your authentic self. Adding value is really what we're doing on social media. And of course, you guys know that those platforms continue to grow on a, on a daily basis with billions of people. And it's, it's our door to all over the world. You know, prior to social media and what was happening there, if I wanted to meet someone in another country and I didn't know someone there, it was, it was a matter of me meeting somebody that knew somebody. But online, we really have access to influence and help people all over the world. So my start with social media began because of Fit3 and needing to put myself on there. And I don't put anything on there that I wouldn't tell you anyway. So it's not like I'm putting my private life out there that I don't want people to see. I think part of our job with Relive is, you know, it's about using these products, but it's also about our lifestyle. The products are big part of our health and my family, but we also eat well. And some of us in my house <laughs> exercise, <laughs> not all of us, but you know, for me, that's part of my lifestyle. And I want people to see that. And one component is the Relive product. So that's kind of how that works online. But there's a lot of ways to be present on social media. There's, um, a lot of different choices on social media. If you are interested in checking that out, Kari Montgomery does a great Zoom every Friday at 1130 Eastern time teaching how to use social media. And she's just done it for a longer time. She's gone through a lot of training and she's very a very valuable resource for us to learn how to do social media. And I say learn how to do it because you know, there's some things that you have to learn as far as what to put on there, as far as your content and how to do it. 
and some editing tools that you have to be able to use. And it's definitely a process, but, um, and I'm not there yet, but <laughs> I'm making progress every day. I've tweaked my approach many times, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. You know, I feel, as I said, that it's a platform that I can influence people for the better to help them with their lives. So social media is about sharing your lifestyle, being, being authentic, giving things and content that are of value to people, adding to people's lives. You can talk about the Relive products. You can share testimonials, share stories. So there are similarities between offline and online in terms of how we do our business. It's just a different vehicle. And I don't know for anybody that's done it, I found that they really relate to one another. I'll run into somebody like the young girl I met in the store. And a lot of times younger people will say, well, are you on Instagram? Or somebody might ask me at a meeting, you know, are you on Facebook? Because that's how people get a peek into our lives and get to know us and they get to see what we really stand for. So that's how that integrates. Um, I'll share with you one of the things that's happening in my group most recently that's been very effective is similar to what Tom um, Pennick used to do when he did shake parties in people's homes. And people still do that, probably less today because of the virus and um, people are not as apt to go out and be around people right now, especially this season. Um, but online, we can still have those parties. And we've had a lot of success on Facebook hosting parties. And the way that has worked is we as distributors have um, found people that e either are already on the products or are new to the products that might want to invite their friends to a party on Facebook. And then it's a five-day party where we as distributors post content to educate people about Relive and just kind of walk them through like you would a presentation, but online. And then the difference is they're not sitting in front of me, but they're online. They can come in to the group if they want to, they can choose that. They can look at the information if they want to, they can ask questions. And there's a lot of engagement back and forth with comments when you do that. But by the end of the five days, people are able to make a decision as to whether they want to purchase the products or whatever they want, they choose to do. So it's kind of an interesting thing, but <clears throat> it's produced a lot of customers with the parties that we've done. So um, it might be something interesting for you to check out. Um, and just staying on Facebook for just a minute before we go over to the website, I'd like to share some things on the website today. But if you are interested in using Facebook, uh, you can go into groups on Facebook that interest you. So some public groups that I'm a part of on Facebook are there's a running group. There's a group about wire hair fox terriers. That's what I have, a little terrier. Um, but you can go into sports teams. Um, some people that maybe you drive a Lexus, there's groups for that. And the reason for doing that and spending some time in groups is that's another way to get to know people. And so the way that would work is you would be um, in a group, a public group, I would suggest, and you can start engaging with people online with common interests. Maybe you'll see a post that somebody made um, and about, let's say for me, the wire hair fox terrier group, you know, looking at the posts that pop up on my feed, I might comment on there. You know, I just remember when my, my wire hair was that age and, you know, was so cute and, um, you know, you could ask a question. Uh, I just asked a question in a running group. Somebody had done distance running like 50 miles and more. And, you know, I kind of have an interest in that. And I asked them about their diet and, you know, what kind of diet do you use? And you just start a conversation with people online, which can lead to you eventually um, maybe asking them a question. Hey, by the way, you know, are you prepared for vitamin D deficiency season? It's here. What do you do to help yourself nutritionally? You know, you can start asking those engagement questions to see if that person might be open to looking at something like Relive. So that's how I use um, social media in terms of engaging with people, just starting a conversation that has a mutual interest to like a dog or a car. And then that can lead to more of a conversation. And I just love the term, by the way, you know, by the way is a nice segue into what do you do to support yourself nutritionally? You know, it's just a question. And, and we've had some people gaining some customers from that approach. If someone is interested in talking to me about Relive, it's kind of the same as offline. I would share a video with them. I would share it. I would ask them, you know, if, 
if they want to know more and they ask for information, I would say, well, if I sent you a video that's only five minutes about Relive and what I do and what these products do, would you be willing to watch it? If they message me back, yes, I'll say, well, when do you think you would have time to do that? And they message me back and I let them know I will be following up. So if they say, I'll watch it tonight, I'll say, I'll follow up with you tomorrow and I'll see what questions you have and maybe what stood out for you. So that kind of engagement that we do offline, we can also do online. And I think whenever you share a video with someone, whether it's from a social media contact or you met them on the street and they want information and you're sharing a video, I think it's always really expected and courteous these days to say it's a five minute video. You know, maybe in the first two minutes, they're going to talk about some of the product things, um, product information, and uh, in the last couple of minutes, how you can get started. So give that person the length of video just to respect their time and share a little bit about what they're going to see. And then always follow up. So important. So um, I want to segue a little bit away from the social media topic, but just a, a side note here, if anybody has an interest in learning more about marketing on social media. As I said, Kari hosts a Zoom on Fridays that anybody can be on. And then um, Eric Worry is a good person to follow online. He is really established as a network marketer and, um, and he and also Jesse Lee Ward um, is also another one to follow. Both are on the platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and they're also on, um, it's escaping me right now. Uh, oh, what is it? Whatever I go to all the time. Uh, YouTube. They do YouTube videos. So if you want to become a pro in network marketing and really learn some of the tips and tricks to network marketing, following those two, um, Eric Worry or Jesse Lee Ward, um, are the two that I'm following most right now. And they give free training all the time. They offer challenges. So that's another way to uh, take a step forward in that industry and really be successful at it. So let's talk a little bit about, let's say uh, you do get a customer, either it's from offline contact or it's an online contact and um, you have a new customer. And, and really, we're very focused on customers now, maybe more than we were before. And part of that is because that's really the way the industry is trending. When you focus on gaining customers who could become distributors, you know, my distributors that work with me were my customers at one time for the most part. So we're really looking right now, um, a lot of us to gain customers, keep customers, get them on auto ship make them happy, help them get results. Um, and then oftentimes they say, hey, can you help my mom? Or it might be come to the point where they say, you know, I'd really like to do what you do. And that's happened to me several times. So I love how organic that grows. But um, the companies that are focusing right now and are in our space on acquiring customers seem to be more successful than those that focus efforts on acquiring distributors. Um, actively. Not that either is wrong, but that's just the way the industry is trending. And we have things that we can offer our customers, um, preferred customer to give them a, a savings of 10%. Auto ship is 20% if it's over 100 free shipping. That's a great perk. Some ways to entice customers would be using coupon codes, which you can get on your personal website. Um, so it's really important uh, to treat customers well and thank them, maybe send them birthday cards, maybe even a card to acknowledge their relive anniversary. Just things that we can do to make them feel like they're an important person in our lives and that we appreciate the fact that they've chosen us to help them with their health journeys. And um, so customer service is, is just so important. And we've kind of changed our approach to it used to be, you know, we wouldn't do the thanking. They really should thank us because we're the one that brought the gift, which is still true, but it's just a little bit of a different focus, uh, focusing on the customer, making them feel special. I know Bob Montgomery has said that many times. Um, I was going to say something else about that. Oh, an another thing that has changed a bit is the company's approach to acquiring customers. And you'll see this now in the videos that come out. Most recently, the one where Tina um, was introducing the new Now for Kids One. You can see in that video that it was very much uh, a, a, um, a focus 
to make the customer the hero. And as you watch that video, you'll see that the customer is the mom. And really that is something that is trending too right now that being very um, customer focused and making the customer the hero is really what is going to drive that customer to want to stick with you and come with you on your on the journey before maybe we were the hero you know we brought the product or Relive was the hero because look how great these products are and that's still true but our focus is on making the customer feel valued and making the customer the hero of their own journey so some of these semantics become important as people decide if they're going to choose to work with us or not I'm just referring to my notes to stay on task here since I don't have slides. Um, one of the things uh, I think we want to do too is with our customers, even distributors, is keep them informed. If something new comes out, don't hesitate to email or message or call or text, whatever, however you choose to reach out to people. And I know that sometimes can be determined by that person and how they like to be connected with. But just because we see that there's a new product doesn't mean that they saw that there's a new product and and having an excuse to reach out to them is you know good we want to keep in touch with the people that we're working with. Um, okay, so what i'd like to do now is go over to our website, because what I would like to walk through is let's say you have somebody that wants to get started with you as a distributor. We really need to have some kind of system to walk them through to help them successfully get started. So let me just take a minute to share my screen. Okay, so uh, I think I'm still logged in. Uh, we'll find out, right? <laughs> so what you want to do when you sponsor a new distributor is you want to use the website to draw them into Relive and to start bringing them into how do we do this business. And I think there's some really great tools that we've acquired in the last six months that are just so um, so good to bring them on board. And one of the ones I like to use when you first log into the website um, with your RCN number um, is right here on the menu is that you can take them to a place and this is what you're walking them through. Um, you know, I kind of like to call it the homework. So if somebody wants to start with me, I want to let them know that I'm going to help them feel more comfortable about being a distributor and I'm going to walk them through some tools that they can use and give them some homework. So really their first homework is to become certified. And the way to do that is to go online and click on this tab that allows them to get certified. My computer is old and moving slowly. So I don't know if it'll get there. Yeah, there it is. So I've already done the training and it's going to reflect that. Um, but somebody new, it's going to say, let's get certified. And it's going to walk them through the steps to getting certified. And what does that do for them? Well, that gives them some information about the products. That gives them some information about Relive. It starts to give them a little bit of a foothold. And you know, today people want to be informed um, before maybe they would just blindly walk with us more so than today. People kind of like to have a little bit under their um, belt in terms of what is this and how can I help people. At the same time that they're doing this, you can always say to them, you know, what three people have you thought of that you'd like to share this with? And you can start introducing the idea that, hey, I'm going to help you do that. Whether it's online or offline, you can start walking them through the process of connecting with those new people and sharing with them how we do that. So you can start walking with them immediately. But getting them certified is a great first step because once they get certified, they can then get a 90-day free web bundle package that they can have their own website, um, we can use coupon codes if we have our own website. They can start using the app. That's where you can send videos. So they're going to get access to those tools for free for 90 days just for getting certified. So that's why I think getting certified is a really good first step. At the same time, as I said, we can start saying, you know, who did you think of when you 
when you thought about becoming a distributor, let's start talking to them and you can start sharing with them about building a list. We have a great booklet, a great XR booklet, and we'll talk about the XR a little bit, but um, a great booklet to help them start listing names and um, start thinking of people in their life. I don't like to overwhelm them by saying, hey, you know, what's a hundred people that we can get share relive with? I like to start with three because that's just a really doable number in their mind. That's something that we can really grab a hold of and do immediately. So if we go back um, to our original menu, after they're certified, um, some other homework that I like to give them is to go to this tab on the website, new distributor, right? It makes sense. So this is kind of the first place that they wanna go and they're going to be welcome to relive. They're going to be able to sign up for emails. We want them to be able to be in the know. It does talk about the web bundle that I just talked about, but there's a lot of training videos that they can use. And so I like to start walking them through some of the first ones that they might want to watch. So maybe another homework assignment would be to watch this get to know the relive products. It's uh, 11 minutes. So it's not a lot of their time every day to start learning and a little bit about Relive as we start introducing Relive to their friends. The next homework assignment would be this one, getting to know the compensation plan. This is a really nice video. Again, you know, not more than 10 minutes that walks them through how our compensation plan works. And then beyond that, just one at a time, introducing them to the different steps in identifying people, like we're talking about today, we're talking about identifying people. We've talked a little bit about how to connect with people and then sharing using a, a video or maybe you're going to meet for, with them for coffee to share and then asking for a decision. Once you've shared information, you know, what, what, did you, what stands out for you? What, what interests you and in what you're seeing? And then getting people registered is so important to connect them to you. I always share with people, you know, registering you as a customer lets you get more access to the website so that you can see more. And then whenever they're ready to get started, I like to walk them through placing an order. It's not quite as easy as placing an order on Amazon yet, right? So there's choices. There's preferred customer, preferred customer on auto ship. They can become a distributor. So I like to walk people through that step to get them started. But they can do a lot of training here online in terms of each of these steps that we have in sharing the Relove products with people. So I think it's, um, it's really becoming more and more valuable to use our website. The company continues to add more value here and it's a way to connect with people to help walk them through the process of getting someone started. Okay. Um, So I, I hope that this has helped you today with some of the things that I've shared. Sharing Relive is not hard, but sharing Relive takes a little bit of thought and planning, as you guys all know, and surrounding yourself with people. So there's no one way to do it. You know, there's people offline still. There's people online if you choose to do that. And having a mix is great. Or I have a distributor that really is mostly online and, and being very successful, but distributed it's offline and, you know, that's successful for him. So it doesn't really matter how we do it. We just want to pick a path, two paths. Um, if you're not, uh, if you feel like you need help with network marketing, follow Eric Worry, follow Jesse Lee Ward. Um, Jesse Lee Ward is very much about uh, the online um, sharing of network marketing. And then Eric Worry is more both, and he will teach techniques. So if you feel like you need some help with that, I do. Um, so go to YouTube and look up Eric Worry and get started with that. So, you know, take some time to make yourself a pro in this industry. I think if we really want to be successful, we do need to develop ourselves. And that's one of the things that we all like about Relive is the self-development that comes along with it. The things that I've learned to reach out to people and grow my business have benefited me in my personal life too. So I love that aspect of what we do. Network marketing is, I think, the industry to be in today. My husband has lost his job many times and uh, nobody can take this job from me. And really there's no ceiling on what we can make. So I would encourage you to um, grow your skill set if you feel like you still need to do that. I do, it's been 16 years, but I'm still growing. And, um, and we're gonna talk at the end here about setting some goals. And I love that the company helps us with our goals. We have the promo one, two, three to help um, 
guide you in terms of what to focus on on a monthly basis. We're going to talk about what that is. There's also um, some trips coming up that you want to set your sights on and make plans to go. Um, one of my goals right now is to have 10 customers ordering $100 or more. Why? Well, that's how I grow my business, you know, by, by um, giving myself a goal. Let's say I have eight and it's getting close to the end of the month. It kind of pushes me to get going here. You know, we can always procrastinate and not do our, our work every day, but sometimes setting a goal and maybe even being accountable to another distributor, be accountable to each other to, to reach your goals. But my goal right now is really two promo ones, right? Promo one, Relive is going to give you a hundred dollar product credit. If you have five customers, they don't have to be new customers, can be old, new, but five customers ordering a hundred dollars or more a month, Rila will give you a hundred dollar product credit. I love that. And I think people love that. Even if they're people that don't want to do much with this business and they just want to share with a few friends, if they can have five friends that order a hundred or more, they're going to get a hundred dollar product credit. So we can really help people afford their own product through that one program. You can do it two, three, four times. My goal right now is to do it twice. I want to have 10 customers ordering a hundred dollars or more and the company will give me a $200 product credit. So a lot of people in my house using product, that helps. Promo two is if you have two people at the 25% quick start level, Relive will pay you a $100 bonus. If you get on one more and you have three for that month, Relive will give you another $150 bonus. So with three quick starts in one month, you can get an extra bonus of $250. Promo three is if you sponsor a master affiliate, really gives you a $250 bonus. So I love that they're giving us more money really to do our jobs. And we can use these promos to set goals for ourselves. There's also the top three bonus and the global ambassador team is a great goal. We have a trip coming up early next year. That's a leadership trip and that's in St. Louis. And so what a great thing to aspire to is to be able to be on the leadership team with this company. I love that they um, look to us for input. Um, they look to us for ideas. So I've never worked for a corporation that wants my input. And so I love that our company is designed that way. So there's the leadership trip for the global ambassador team coming up. We also have a conference coming up, up in St. Louis, um, April 22nd and 23rd. And you can win your way. There's a promo. Look at it on the website. Find out how you can get free travel and free accommodation through building your business. So I love how they're always giving us encouragement to do what we need to do anyway, build our business. And there's a bonus when we do that. So what a great promo. There's also a celebration trip next year that we can qualify for at the Broadmoor and Colorado Springs. We live recently sent an email out about that. Wow. It's an incredible place. That's definitely on my list of things to do. That's definitely a goal. So I would encourage you to, um, if you're not familiar with the website and some of the things that are there that we can use to help people, you know, just spend a little bit of time looking at that. If you're not familiar with these promotions, check it out and set some goals for yourself. Even though Thanksgiving is next week, uh, you know, we have a few days still to work. And I think the thing that's right here in our face is this is cough and cold season. And as Kari Montgomery calls it, vitamin D deficiency season. So that's what I'm currently using as I reach out to people to share Relive is, you know, what are you doing to support yourself this time of year? And I think that's on everybody's mind, even though the holidays are here and people are going to be around more people, you know, a better time right now than any is just to support your immune system. And that's, you know, what we're pros at. So I just appreciate everyone joining me this morning on the Positively Charged training. Of course, if you go to Facebook, Positively Charged, you'll see some other events that happen during the week that help us grow our businesses and help us get these stories in front of people. And, you know, Maybe challenge yourself if you're not online to explore that a little bit if that interests you, because that really is the door to sharing Relive with people all over the world. So whatever you choose, offline, online, or both, I wish you guys the best of luck with your businesses this week and have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks for joining me this morning. Great.